What's going on, guys? Mini Hippie here. Welcome to uh, a Gameline Express podcast here. Today we're going to be with the inaugural friends. one. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and it actually looks pretty nice. We're actually in the Mushroom Kingdom today. Uh, yeah, right? <laughs> it's not even the Mushroom Kingdom. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's yeah, just yeah, fire in the background. <laughs> you know, they, they accepted us with, uh, with good tidings. They yeah. wanted us to yes. come in, have yep. a nice day. Uh, today we're going to be talking about the Nintendo Switch because we're in the Mushroom Kingdom today and uh, all the good stuff that it's going to be coming with and all the extra accessories and games and crap like that. Yeah. Uh, so where should we start off here today? Um, the actual like features on the Nintendo Switch. Yeah, so with? I think we should pretty much just break it down for those who don't really know like what the console is. So it's coming out March 3rd, it's $300, and pretty much what it is, I think it's really interesting about it, is they pretty much found a way to appeal to like pretty much every gamer almost you have like the Wii because they can take off the Joy-Con things mm -hmm. and hold them like that you have the Wii U because then you can put it back on the tablet yep. but it's just less clunky so that's an improvement and then you have just like an actual like controller thing that I think they're selling separately but you know you can just put it on your yeah. TV and then play it like it's yep. an actual <clears throat> PS4 or Xbox One. Oh yeah yeah so it's like that's a the, I, I love that too I love the fact that we actually have in a, a controller like just not like you know the Wii yep. mode or like you know the GameCube controller but like an actual like kind of like an almost Xbox controller that just the only problem I ever like I'll ever foresee with that because I don't think it's ever gonna get dull mm -hmm. I mean when I was watching like the the launch trailer of it that they showed where it shows like all the different transformations of it and everything I couldn't help but think man that has a lot of potential to get really messed up like as oh, you keep as you keep using trying to play Mario Kart like, on the go, dude, I'm, as you keep I'm have that as you keep using car. it as you keep using it and like taking it apart and putting it back together there's so much potential unless they made it really well for like the rails and stuff that it operates on to get all worn down oh, yeah. True. and disconnected knowing, knowing Nintendo too that's one of the problems they've had in the past yeah. is some of their that's my only concern but like no, I, I agree yeah but um otherwise it looks awesome because I mean who I doesn't want to be walking down the street because I mean we we uh, we saw a hint of some of the games that they're going to have. Yeah. But Dude. one of the big ones was Skyrim. Oh, yeah. That they showed oh, yeah. on yeah. the Nintendo Switch. It's coming out in the fall. I so guess. just imagine walking down the street playing Skyrim. How many times are going to make us rebuy Skyrim? Let's. <laughs> yeah. like, as many times as, as Todd Howard and Bethesda can milk us <laughs> for every, every cent that they want. That's how many. It's just, it's oh. kind of crazy. We're going to be buying Skyrim in 2018 when they're already working on Elder Scrolls 6. <laughs> <laughs> But seriously though, dude, I'm gonna have like that in my car. Like it's gonna be because they the charger too for it is compatible with like USB too. So I can just plug it into my radio and plug it into my and play it through. And just play it through my car while you're driving. While you're driving. <laughs> no, 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 no. Not while driving. We don't we don't Skyrim. condone gaming don't while driving. Don't gaming while driving. <laughs> Please don't be Pokemon don't. Go. We really don't want a repeat I know, of that. I was just thinking that. Pokemon don't make Go. a repeat of that, dude. Oh. If Nintendo Speaking Switch is anything Pokemon, though, near like Pokemon, Pokemon Go, Go, it's not going to even be thought of in six months. No, 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 dude. Here's the thing. <laughs> yeah. I'm It'll just fall off the face of the yep. earth. Like. I'm crossing my fingers for this one because I really, really hope that Nintendo releases uh, Pokemon Snap, but for the Wii U, like an updated, newer version. That... You mean for the Nintendo Switch? Yeah. For well, the Wii U? No, it's Sorry. one of the really cool things, actually, <laughs> that... I'm sure they would release it for the Wii U, too, though. Yeah. That's the thing. No, it's one of the cool things that I... Uh, found that I don't think they've saw, like talked about a lot on like the news outlets and stuff is they have like I guess a subscription service that they're gonna be coming out with it's free at launch but it's gonna cost money in like the fall or like of the winter yeah, or something yeah. but Everything um, is free I guess they give you like free like SNES and like NES and really? N64 games like like almost That's like pretty PlayStation badass. 4 but it's all those like actually good games not like the kind actually of good games, <laughs> dude. With the PS4 and stuff like that, they give you like the they bargain started off, bin. They like, started off with good games, like Outlast, like and Outlast and PT when games, PT was though. on the PlayStation yeah. Store. Got Resident Evil like remastered for like Bro Force nothing. is pretty fun. Yeah. That's one of the more recent nothing. ones that I can think of that was really fun. Yeah. Oh yeah. Wasn't but no, you're one of the free ones. Oh yeah, yep. yeah. Yep. Yeah. Gauntlet yeah. Was that was awesome. really good. So there's oh, been some good ones. There's been some good ones, but mainly it's like. Like what even yeah, is this game? Yeah. I'm gonna download it and try it anyways because I'm because yeah. I'm Sony's bitch. But the Raptures <laughs> or something like that. I, I know that was the, the last rapture. one. Oh, everyone's gone to the Rapture. Gone okay, to that game was fun. I haven't played it yet. I have it. It was fun. We should definitely do a show though. Probably. Well, I mean, I've already played it, so I would right, well, probably be watching you play. That game's very conceptual. It is. It's like it's one of those da, 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 games. I have not played it. Don't tell me. I'm going to be playing it. It's oh. one of those don't games think like, it. Of, don't <laughs> think it. Don't think it. Don't fart it. Don't smell it. Don't dip it. Nintendo Anything else? Switch Man. Yeah, <laughs> Nintendo Switch Man. 
Um, Sony comes up behind us. And well, have they talked things. about any titles for the NES and SNES they'd be releasing? Or just no, like... but I imagine... <laughs> I don't know. One of the weird things about the Wii and the Wii U is that they had the virtual console, but they released, like, games, like, one week at a time. So, like, at the start or at launch... (laughs) Our cameraman is currently threatening us right now with a Nerf blaster. Keep talking about Nintendo Switch, all right? Go on, keep talking. But, um... He's here to terminate us. (laughs) But I hope they... from Nintendo. He got our trust and is now sitting there waiting for years now just to, for us to the right moment. Like, Go on, say it. <laughs> no, but um, I think uh, with the with the past consoles, they released it like one game at a time, really. So they didn't really have a collection like at the start of like old games. Yeah. So it kind of like defeated the whole purpose. Like if you wanted to kind of play that library, you know, like of their old games, because like. Four years in, when people weren't even playing the Wii U or the Wii anymore, they're still yep. releasing games that oh, yeah. are actually pretty good, like Earthbound and stuff. Dude, mm-hmm. Naked Brothers Band. So the game. <laughs> <laughs> What's that game about? I don't know. I didn't buy it. Wait, that's like, an actual thing. Like, <laughs> Naked like 60 Brothers. Sixty cents at GameStop. It was sixty cents at, on the Wii. Well, that just goes to show how good of a game. All right, it was, if it was sixty cents. You're almost you were almost obligated to purchase that game to try it out. You need to go back someday and see no. if it's still yeah. If any game's yeah. under a dollar, you probably shouldn't buy it. Yeah, if any game's I under a dollar, you probably like should buy it just so you can experience Dan, have you ever why it's indie under a dollar. Games on Xbox. Yes. Yes. Like, wow, now no. I know why this was so because cheap. Because you're probably going to find a lot of porn games and a lot of games that porn are just games? Yeah. Yes, it's true. We yes, went through yeah. it the other day. But besides Jesus the point, get back to Nintendo Switch. <laughs> it's going to be I think it's honestly an excellent concept. I think Nintendo really, really nailed it this time because. But <laughs> <laughs> but is it but is it gonna outdo the PS4 and Xbox One in terms of sales? No, um, probably. Well, it could well, come close. That de- that depends. But I mean, you think about the Wii U and how many jokes everybody makes about the Wii U. The Nintendo Switch is the bound console to be generations different. are getting so muddled now. By the way, Wii was sold out six months. Yep, after, that's yeah. true. After its initial I remember release. when it first came out. Yep. And Wii U, like, what? didn't even get, like, enough pre-orders. Like, they, I think they, like, like knew that it was, like, doomed, like, just by pre-orders. <laughs> so we're, we're currently, what, what generation of consoles are we currently on right now? Seventh, right? Or something like that? Yeah. From Nintendo, um, yeah. Seventh generation? No, no, but just in general. Just, so, wait, is Wii oh. U considered a seventh gen? Yeah. So, is, is the Nintendo Switch also considered a seventh gen? Yeah. Um, well, the, the Switch was never designed to replace the Wii U. Is weird enough. It's just when to they, accompany when they it. They announced it. They said this it is could not a Wii U it. replacement. It's supposed to have its own niche. Yeah. It's, really? It's not. Well, I have a feeling it's going to severely outdo the Wii U. I think That's it's going to severely outdo a lot that. of the consoles that. Like, dude, imagine being like, Nintendo imagine if Smash Bros. Now. eventually comes to the Nintendo Switch, which it should. Yes. Like, there's no reason yes. why it shouldn't. I you mean, can take Smash Bros. with you anywhere, dude, and just. Oh my God! Play it with with your friends wherever you want. Smash Bros. Smash Bros. Switch. Do you yeah, know how exactly. Awesome that's gonna be. Battery life on it is supposed to be garbage. Really? It's I like mean, three you gotta think it's. I saw something saying like. There always has to, to be one flaw. Yeah, yeah, one flaw. One flaw. Like, like, oh, it's, uh, battery ruined, life is complete but... shit. That's uh, a. <laughs> well, I mean, with everything, I'm sure like that'll minutes. eventually change. Like, you, I'm sure you can. Oh like, yeah, when they release a five hundred dollar version that has like this like plutonium core in it. All right, we like, fix the problem. It's like chrome, it's like chrome plated and you have to like, no, not even 500, it's like $800 and it's got like a holographic projector on it. Yeah. And if you, you want to like cut off your arm and leg and give it to Nintendo, then you can get the best version, but otherwise you're a dirty little pleb and you're left with the original version that sucks. Well, here's the thing though. I think with the Nintendo Switch, I really, I really hope with the Nintendo Switch, I should say, is the fact that it's so like all the parts are so interchangeable that you can literally just go to GameStop and not have to buy a complete set. You can just go up and buy one little tiny controller. You would hope it was gonna it's gonna be that simple. But because it's it's never that simple with GameStop. I think you have to buy both things though. You'd have to buy both. Well I I mean that would make sense, but like I'm hoping that they have like enough complaints that they're like, all right, you know, maybe we should just sell one if they need it. You I know, also and make heard it half the price one, of two. One. You know what I mean? And then, like, you could also buy, like, the pads just in case. Because I guarantee you people could have dropped that shit and be like, fuck, I don't have enough replacement. So now they're going to have to go buy one. That's the thing, too, is the pad is the console itself. The dock, oh, yeah. the dock isn't really meant for anything besides putting it on the TV. Yeah. I'm sure they're also going to come up with, like, cases for it as well, which would be very interesting to any, see. Any way that they can make more money. 
Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah that's, anyway, that's how they're probably gonna make the most thing money. About Nintendo. Is the accessories. And Nintendo Land coming to Universal. That's gonna be cool. Lots they have Nintendo Switch there. They probably will. <laughs> they have like displays. They're like selling it to people like little little ten year old kids yeah. are like, it's like a, pressuring like their the, parents the into buying these They're, things like, for them. It's like the cards it's down like down dude, I already them. spent like three thousand dollars to bring you here. Yeah, now you're gonna mo- make me buy a three hundred dollar <laughs> fucking game system while we're <laughs> here. Have a bunch of different Mario characters going around with Speaking Nintendo mind, Switches. <laughs> I heard the Switch is supposed to be under two hundred fifty dollars. It's three hundred. Three hundred. It's they confirmed that, yeah. It's gonna be three hundred dollars. Um and that actually should bring us into our next thing, and we're going to talk about the launch titles. It's not it doesn't have many. Yeah. The, there's only like, I think there's five games coming out on March third with it. Oh my god. Yes. There's yeah. one two switch. Whoa. I don't know what that is. I guess it's supposed to be like Wii Sports. <laughs> Super Bomberman R. That yeah. sounds pretty good. I guess. I love Super Bomberman. Just Dance 2017. Oh yeah, because yeah. you know if you didn't get enough of the <laughs> very beginning ones, it's got to be a launch title. Skyland Skylanders Imaginators. And then the big one is Legend of Zelda: Breath of the Wild, which Liam pointed out. They're already they're gonna release that on Wii U as well. So I mean that's kind of, eh. but I mean it, it's it was, still. It was delayed to sell this console though. It's st- yeah, yeah, it was. It's yep. still it's still easily the best title that they Dude, have. Dude, that's bro. that's gonna take all my money right there. Like my entire paycheck's going to that right there. Just because Breath of the Wild is gonna like, it. From what I've seen in the trailers, it it might become the very best. Uh, n- like. Legend of Zelda game Breath for a very wild, wild very, oh, a yeah. very long time. Like, they've already been uh, talking about just the exploration in it and the and the feel of it, the overall feel. It's gonna be the most like cohesive yeah, oh, yeah. Zelda experience that the they've made. The soundtrack, dude, my heart's gonna be taken. Like <laughs> it's going to the, the, the hand's gonna come out of the TV and grab it's just your gonna heart. Grab just, like, just right, this is matter. fine. It'll just <laughs> absorbed by the TV. Um, but then like in in the in the spring, so in March and April. Mm. Not with it, but at some point in the next couple months, they're going to release Has Been Heroes, I Am Setsuna, Snipper Clips, Cut It Out Together. What? What, what is that? Arms, and Puyo Puyo Tetris, and then Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Japan. So that's Which is already out fun. on Wii U, but there's like two more characters you can get for the. And that's going to come out April 28th, Mario Kart. But, but yeah, Mario Snipper Kart's Clips, awesome Cut It Out because Together. Because of the fact that, that you can take those controllers apart and then give it to two other people and then both people can play um, with those single controllers instead of, you know, having to buy a shit ton. I think they should have made Mario a launch title. I do too. Mario Kart, I mean. But I mean, yeah. it's kind of... And I, I'm Mario okay Odyssey with, too. It's going to take okay them a while to port it apparently because it doesn't come out until April 28th. What? Mario Kart 8. Oh yeah, I know. I saw that. I was like, what? Like what? Over over um, almost two months for them yeah. to port that from. Didn't they already Wii U have to... Mario Kart done though? Why isn't it a launch title? That's what I'm. That's why I don't. Like that's what I'm saying. That's one of the like, things what's wrong I think's with you, weird. Nintendo. The launch probably has something. Yeah, how dare you deliver us an amazing gaming experience and make us wait? Careful what you say. Well, <laughs> the, yeah, they might show up at my house tonight if I, I disappear tonight, guys. Pretty good point happen. though. Like, snatch in the middle of the night. That was one of the things that, like, really killed the Wii U, was that it had, like, really no launch titles. And there was the same thing with the Wii, too, but the Wii Sports kind of saved that, and that's because it came with the console, and it Ninten- was actually really good. Nintendo's, cool. like, the institute from Fallout 4. <laughs> they, they just kidnap people. They take people, people and replace them with, like, Nintendo fanatic versions of themselves. They live under Boston instead of Japan. Like, like you guys, you guys talk to me next week, and it turns out I've sold my Xbox 360, my PS4, and my computer, and I and bought a Wii, a Wii U, and saved up the rest of the money for the everything. Nintendo Switch. Why, why did everything you buy so many things in Nintendo? I don't know, Nintendo, man. I just, everything. I just love Mario. Nintendo now. Like, I tear down my Destiny post. Poster that's signed by the whole crew and just like no, it's not Nintendo. Nintendo. It's not right. It's an abomination. This can't be. Just like put up a Mario Every poster. Is just Mario and like Nintendo, 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 Nintendo in blue, red, green, yellow, orange, purple. But just what have the they Nintendo done the logo on it. It's like the B movie except. Oh, yell black, yell black, black, black. Oh, black and yellow. All right, let's switch it up a little. <laughs> no, how dare you? Can't Sorry. complete anything without a B movie reference. <laughs> and like, and like God only knows how long it's gonna take Skyrim to get on that thing. It couldn't. It might not even be this year. They'll probably like, cancel it, honestly. <laughs> Bethesda's like, yeah, oh, due yeah, to our, due to our work on the next Elder Scrolls game. Bethesda. Um, <laughs> due to our work on our, on our current projects, we've decided to drop the port to Nintendo Switch, and then everyone, like literally everybody who bought the Nintendo Switch just solely so they could play Skyrim wherever they want, <laughs> they're just like. Like, how many times does Bethesda have to screw us over before we finally... It's like an abusive relationship, <laughs> really. Like, 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 the amount of bugs that their games have when they first come out. It's just like... 
we love you, but we hate you. <laughs> the love hate relationship. It's kind of like life. <laughs> it has its ups and its downs. Up next, the inauguration. Just kidding. <laughs> it's on Mike's birthday, you know. It is. Happy birthday, Mike. It's on my birthday. Happy no, 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 no. Birthday, Mike? No, we're saying Trump's inauguration's on your birthday. Oh, it is. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> happy birthday. So, like, to you're you. not on my birthday yet. You're gonna be put. It's like Mike. Mike, sorry, I can't spend your birthday with you because I'm gonna be too Jesus. busy watching the inauguration. Oh yeah. Politics. All day. Yeah, all, all, all day. day. All day. All day. I gotta because. He's I gotta fed, keep up with. It. I gotta he's keep fed on the news. C yeah, man. I gotta CNN watch. Feeds I gotta watch Fox, man, and see what 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 uh what old Donald's up to after he gets inaugurated. What he does. <laughs> but um, <coughs> but anyways um. <laughs> well, I got off topic quickly. Yeah, Matt doesn't seem very amused Nintendo by the sudden switch, switch shift in conversation. No, I just heard the word Donald, and I kind of just kind of. So here's here's one interesting thing about the Nintendo like Switch. Like um, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> what it's it's not gonna have a lot of multimedia interfaces. So like, Xbox One, um, and PS4 are really well known not just as game consoles but as entertainment systems mm -hmm. because you can get Hulu, you can get Crackle, you can get Netflix, you can get On Demand, you can get HBO Go, you can get all these video streaming services that you can just you know, if you have your subscription, you can connect it to your to your account and just go and stream yeah. whatever you want on a your on your console project. <laughs> what? What? Oh, Xbox. We don't talk about the Kinect. Um, <laughs> Put it on Xbox One, too, and look how great that worked. No. Um, Dude, you... Honestly, that's one of the things Careful. that made me not want to get an Xbox One. But anyways, it's not going to have a lot of multimedia in that it's not going to have Netflix, at launch at least. They said at launch it's not going to have any of that media stuff. It's really? not going to have Netflix, it's not going to have HBO, Hulu, none of that. Oh, that's so, its first problem. <laughs> well, I mean, it's, it's mainly for people who are just pure gamers that want a gaming experience off the bat. If you're if you're trying to get it to like replace an entertainment system Bro. that you have right now, I didn't even, you're gonna be very disappointed. <laughs> you're gonna be disappointed, yeah. Honestly, I'm not that surprised though, because it's not a huge system. You know, like one thing that hasn't been released is how big the storage on it's gonna be. Thirty-two gigabytes, I believe. Thirty-two gigs? That's it? Yeah. <sighs> they did the same thing with the Wii U. They somehow are like how are they even? They're like how, genies, how, dude. How can they, they just like I don't even get how they like <laughs> play games on like their console because like, every other game is like a forty-five gigabyte download on like PS4. Xbox. I remember. I remember Chris had to. How are they gonna have thirty-two gigabytes? And shout have out! Skyrim shout out to Chris, our cameraman, there. who's back. Who's back there? You know, making sure everything's running smoothly. But he had to at, at our friend Jason's house. Because this Xbox One, right? They had so many Xbox 360 and Xbox One games that they mm -hmm. just didn't have enough space. 500 gigabytes, and they didn't have enough space for all the games they had. Yeah. He had to go get an external hard drive that had four terabytes of, sta of space on it for them to be able to download all the games they own. Which is ludicrous storage. Which is yeah, ludicrous. that's a, a lot. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, they still. So now with everything downloaded, they still have like three terabytes left. But the fact <laughs> remains is that if it's only going to be 32 gigabytes, how can they even possibly begin to hope to Skyrim. have Skyrim on it? That's what I was just saying. Yeah, that's the thing. Is it? Because if it's gonna be if it's gonna be the Skyrim, developers. we have to assume it's gonna be the remastered version. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Why would they bring the original? First thing is the games are different. They're no longer disk based. They're now SSD cards. Is what? what they're going to, they're going to be. Oh yeah, that is based. what they're doing. They're bringing back cartridges. And oh, so they are. It's, it's a solid state drive. <laughs> it's like plugging in a hard drive to your to your um an external hard drive. Oh, thing, right? wow. So what if so there's the no storage space at all? Stored on the console. Well, it has to be if you want to have like saved games. Yeah, if you want to have like storage, no, you need to have, have storage. Well, that's what the thing is, is saved games by, don't yeah, take. No, because if, yeah. you're, if, you're, if your card breaks with the, with all your saved storage on it, then you're kind of screwed. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, basically, so fuck you is what I, that would yeah, be. Yeah, <laughs> damn, what do we say every fucking time we say Nintendo? Nintendo, Nintendo, fuck you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, but... That would just be ridiculous if they had the saves. No, 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 no. There has to be some kind of internal hard drive. I'm in, sure in Nintendo the, in the thought Switch. of something. They wouldn't just fuck even if it's just well. 32 gigs, like Liam said. It's hard to talk about so, Nintendo and not say go fuck yourself. <laughs> so the Listen, 32 we're, we're harboring a very negative opinion of Nintendo right now. I love Nintendo. I God, Nintendo. I love Nintendo. But GameCube is the greatest console. I love I've China. Made. Oh my God, yeah. I, I, I am. Yeah, I don't know, PS, PS2 is pretty great. Yeah, PS2 was uh, yeah, pretty awesome. <laughs> I like no, SNES and 64. We go, going back to like Skyrim Remastered. Dude, on... I love the PS Vita. Shut up, dude. Shut <laughs> up. <laughs> we remember the PS Vita. Mike, pull this back a little so I can... Not hey, the lowest see your selling console of all time. Oh, and I'm looking at Van. Was it really? I love Van. Probably. <laughs> 
It's not a console, it's a handheld. Fact. Damn. Yeah. Yo. So Whatever the fuck it going is. Going back to Skyrim Remastered on the Nintendo Switch, I think for a fact that it's going to be just all 8-bit. Just the graphics are it's complete 8-bit. It's got the, like... True. Is it an HD console? Did you see? Um, that's a good question. It is an HD console. It's got an, it's an HDMI port. Yeah, it's not just. Of course. That'd be so funny if it like you opened the packaging. And just, and you got it's the, just an you got AV the, cable. You got the red, yellow, and white <laughs> cables, and you're like, wait a minute, I thought wait, we were wait, past wait, wait. this. I don't even have a TV that has these anymore. No. <laughs> I still do. <laughs> yeah, no, no. I, I mean, I do too. I'm just saying that there are probably some like 4K crazy ass TVs nowadays that don't even have AVI have fucking the, ports. Yeah. You have to buy a special Nintendo HDMI cable in order to like. Sixty-five extra dollars, bam, right there. Yeah. Fuck yourself. Sorry, I didn't come up with the right one, but uh, we want to try and drain money out of you. <laughs> when, I first, know. when I first got my PS4, back in, back all the way back in the Christmas of 2013, it didn't have an HDMI cable with it. What? I had to go to GameStop and get one. Jesus. They sent one out without an HDMI cable, so I'm like setting it up and everything, and I'm like so excited. On it's Christmas like Christmas. It's like Christmas Day, dude, and I'm just like. Where's the HDMI cable? <laughs> it's just not in the box. And I'm like, so I had to wait until the next day to go to GameStop and get, because it's Christmas Day, GameStop's not open. Dan, can I, I had to go to GameStop. What's your little sticker on it? It says recall. Let me take this for you. <clears throat> Shitting. Yeah, basically. That's exactly what went through my head, even though I didn't even know what that phrase was at that point in time. Um, <laughs> Do you know what shitting was? In 2013? No. Oh. No, that was, a, that was a, I think that was born out of 2014. I Shitting? Think. Yeah. Like like the f- like when it first came to prominence. Oh, I thought Yeah. <laughs> what? You asked me a question, I was just answering. Okay. Matt. Huh? Anyways, yeah. um That's what I thought. <laughs> yeah, I was I would hope Nintendo wouldn't screw you over like that. Dan's uh, gonna get the Nintendo Switch. It just There's doesn't no come HDMI with an HDMI cord. Yeah. cord. No, it has no cord. It doesn't even have the main power doesn't even have the cord. Doesn't even have the it just has the console and like one no, controller, but the, the wires just connected. Just, just like Dan got the display box. I'm honestly not sure if I'm gonna buy it at lunch. Like it's I think with rock. I think what I'm gonna <laughs> <laughs> the box. Of rock. I got a rock. <laughs> Two controllers, <laughs> a box of rock. There's like a, there's instructions. It's like pour water. What the fuck? Wait, wait a minute. Pour water on it, and then it's like you're fucking stupid. Fuck. Dan like put pulls. So, like the box and starts shaking, and all of a sudden Cheerios come out, and then just like, like a little why tiny, does it sound like, like a box of rocks? You get to like put around your wrist <laughs> to like connect the controllers. This went weird, man. I'm sure sorry, dude. This got real weird. That's okay. <laughs> um, it happens. I don't think I'm gonna buy it at lunch, and yeah, the reason is, is oh, I'm definitely gonna do it because I just one, want Breath of the Wild. Dude. One, I don't have enough funds at the moment I'm to buy it. To buy it, I feel you. B. Um, one B exactly. Yeah, uh, I did that on purpose. Um, I'm, sure I'm sure. One <laughs> three C. And um, Delta. Delta. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I should have said next. Delta. Um, all these problems are possible problems that we've been talking about. Oh yeah. I wanna I wanna give it like a one month grace period. See what everybody says about it. Cause you know when like the PS4 and the Xbox One first came out, there were like articles being pumped out on like IGN and like Yahoo and like all these other websites about all of these problems that were popping up that people were experiencing like the PS4 servers were shitty at the beginning Mm -hmm. Xbox One pretty much everything about Xbox One in the beginning of its life cycle was just absolute trash like nothing worked as well as Microsoft even thought even hoped it would have worked as well as you know what I just remembered? What? Remember I was talking about that how they're gonna have like a virtual console kind of thing but it's like the subscription service earlier I read someone online saying, uh, I think it was an IGN article, and it was saying that they're pretty much going to be making those games, like, multiplayer compatible, so you can play them with someone else on another console, like Mario Brothers or something. That'd be pretty cool, I guess. Like, it's not going to be an added mode, it's just, like, they somehow, like, make it so that, like, it's almost like a two-player on, like, the other console or whatever. That's pretty sick. That would be pretty cool. Or something like, uh... Probably like Mario Kart, like for like SNES or something, like the original one, Super Mario Kart. Like you could probably have it so that like literally all the racers could be in it. You yeah, know? that would be pretty cool. But isn't that kind of something they already did with the Wii U? No, I don't think they did that. No. No. It was it was more updated. It was a more updated Virtual Console, but it wasn't. Was it only local connection with the with the Wii U? Because I, I remember so. I remember in chorus class we'd always bring. Everyone would bring their Wii U's oh, and we play Smash Bros. You mean 3DS? No, uh, 3DS, not the Wii U. Wii U, we bring the Wii U. We bring the Wii U and set it up in the back. No, but, but the 3, 3DS had something that. like that. Yeah. 
Liam. So, I mean, I see no reason why they couldn't do it. Did you have... I remember you telling me something about a theory that you had for uh, Super Mario... Don't talk about that here. <laughs> okay, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. i tell you, but I'd have to kill you. Uh, yeah, so <laughs> Super Mario Odyssey. This could be a Nintendo yeah. Switch and Nintendo Wii U game that's coming out. Quite the I don't name. Know, no, it's not a Wii U game, I don't think. I'm think pretty sure just... they said it was going to be out on Wii U, too. I don't think so. I think no? it's just Switch. I can no, walk there's this me with the information. <laughs> I don't think... I haven't heard that... I haven't heard anything about this game before. You guys... Really? It's going to take place in New York. Mario. Somewhat, yeah. Really? Yeah. Drift compatible, by the way. <laughs> it's, it, lo- it looks interesting. It does. It looks yeah, really it is good. a Nintendo Switch yeah, I'll, exclusive. I'll give you a quick shot. But and then it's a Nintendo Switch probably. exclusive. Yeah. Oh. Matt. What? Nintendo Switch exclusive. Because that would just be oh, dumb of really? them. Yeah. If they were just still releasing games for the Wii U, because then everyone would just Quarter be like, 4, 2017, so don't expect to get that until the holidays. Yeah. yeah. Basically. I'm going to ask for that for Christmas. But um, I had a theory, because in the trailer, you see New York City, but... It's like it looks kind of like weird almost. Like the game it's called, also features levels inspired by real world locations such as New Donk City. Yeah, New Donk City is like New York City. Yeah, inspired by New York City. Yeah, what the fuck? and um, all the people not, there are wearing like tuxedos and like suits and stuff, and they like have like like pretty much no face. Like they look like almost like weird. So it's like a social commentary. So it, I think it's funny <laughs> that you mention that because it says like the first thing that pops up when you look up Super Mario Odyssey, it says. And then Super Mario Odyssey is going to be weird. That's, yeah. That the first article that pops up is just, it's going to be weird. So I think that's going to be like the hub world. They haven't said anything like confirming that. But I think that New York or New Donk City is going to be like the hub world. Almost like, because they said it's going to be a lot like Super Mario Sunshine. So I think that's going to be like Delfino Plaza almost. But, um. Okay. Like, <laughs> they showed other worlds and stuff. And there's like this world with like really tall trees and stuff. And they also show like Mario and like this fucking house thing that has like a globe on it and like f- can fly in the air it looks weird but it is kind of weird anyway at the very end of the trailer it says Super Mario Odyssey and the O in the Mario is like a globe yeah and I showed Matt at it and I was like does that look like it like the globe to you does that look like earth at all and he was like no or was that you that was not yeah. me oh <laughs> somebody else but I'll take credit for it false right. recall yeah it was yeah me. so I showed it to Matt and uh the globe didn't look like like our globe, so I think that it's like some Nintendo fucking world or something. Nintendo Land, like Nintendo's version of Earth. It's the same world have, that Legend of Zelda takes place in, like Hyrule is a kingdom on the world, and we like just don't that. know that. But it's How just crazy like would fallen, and it's like millions of years later. They have Donkey Kong's like uh, jungle and shit like that in it, and you can like play as a world. That would That'd be, be pretty cool. cool. And like the Frozen Peak, except it's like Alaska. Jungle Japes. Yeah. That'd be really cool. The best, the, ma- the best Bailey map, Melee map. You can go in the Arctic. You can go to the Arctic. But um, so yeah, that's that's my theory is that like, it's just Chris like Lattin. some weird wor- like Earth or something, like weird. some weird Nintendo <laughs> Earth. Weird like, science. You can pretty much just go to like different countries and like, they're all Dude, like just. Really I hope. Different. I really, really hope. Just like, really hope that it's just completely racist. The whole what? game is just a what? whole bundle of racism. Wait a minute, back up. Hang on, let's You're not go hoping it's a <laughs> racist? There's something not right here, Matt. It would just be funny for Cut the- him against the wall! Against the wall! No, but um, I just think it would be funny if Nintendo was just like, you know, this family home, like, you know, they've been building up this awesome company for years upon years, and then just they released the Nintendo Switch. And then they released Mario Odyssey, and it's just super, ra- like, blatantly racist. And everyone's like, <laughs> my children is learning, like... It's rated M. Ra- like, racist rated M. It's like, it's like Grand like, Theft Auto. That's oh, what everyone... Yes, that's, that's, what what <laughs> that's what a couple... That's what, that's what a couple people, like, articles yeah. were saying. Somebody took, like, like uh, Mario characters and put them in GTA 4 as, like, yeah. a mod. And made it, like, more... Like, like what if this was what, what Mario, Super Mario Odyssey. Odyssey was like... Like, you're going around and stealing cars from, like, yeah. little, like, uh, from, like, Goombas. <laughs> like, driving around, going going to work, and Mario just comes up and punches him in the face. Yeah. Pulls him out and stomps on them, just, like, takes <laughs> the car and just, like, starts driving away. <laughs> Rockstar is making it. Wow. Rockstar makes <laughs> it, dude. That would be fantastic. Yeah, this Imagine is Rockstar's Red next Dead project. Redemption 2 on yeah, we knew you guys would Switch. wait for Red Dead Redemption Yo, 2. I would rather get Red Dead Redemption 2 on the PS4. Yeah, but, yes. dude, on the go. No. I can play it in the car. Did we point out the shit battery life? 
It would probably die over the You're playing it for like five minutes and like <laughs> the Rockstar server just <laughs> crash it. It's so massive, we literally can't even handle it. Trying to play on his yeah. steering wheel. Oh! <laughs> put, yeah. put, put, put the, the battery died! Just put an ass on the United uh, States! Put England? The, no, the, he's driving the horse and he's got the. He's riding the horse, he's got the wee wheel or whatever. <laughs> I have this on the back of the Nintendo Switch that so just sticks on my steering wheel and I'm just sitting there playing like Mario Party or something. Shit, I fucking got a number one. <laughs> what? <laughs> when you roll a one and you have to go one space and it's exactly where the Bowser symbol is. Dude, the was trick. Dude, the was trick. Dude, was trick. Dude, the was tricks. Oh my god. Mario Party on the Switch? Uh huh. Sorry. Probably. Eventually. Eventually. Oh, but, yeah. But another thing, I don't really know the names of the game, but today they had a Fire Emblem Nintendo Switch. Yeah. Um, really? And there's Fire Emblem out. Heroes. That's Is that come, for Wii U? That's, that's for Wii U, but I it's mean, being ported to Nintendo, Nintendo Switch. Oh, really? Yep. And they're also making uh, another Fire Emblem game for the uh, Switch. But and they're making one for smartphone, I saw. That's it's coming out in February. Yay, mobile gaming. Yeah. Because that hasn't been beaten to the ground already. <laughs> the first Pokemon game for a console since uh, Pokemon Coliseum for the GameCube. Coliseum's amazing. What about the fucking... I prefer Pokemon XD. What about Pokemon fucking Tekken? <laughs> Pokemon Tekken? I mean, I guess, Tekken. I guess that, but it's not like a traditional Pokemon game. You're not wandering around oh. the world catching Pokemon. Oh, oh. Yeah, what's that one that okay. came out? Pokemon like Twilight or something? Yeah, it's supposed to be like uh, Sun and, really sun and Moon. Like the third one's like um, Emerald for yeah. Fire. And Dude, I'm actually really impressed with Sun and Moon right. so far. I've been watching a lot of gameplay of it, and it's actually fantastic. Oh, I have it. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, what are the name of those those gang members in it that replace like Magma and oh, Aqua? Team Skull. Team Skull. Team and they're like, you think you're hard, bro? Dude, you and they're just like tough. And they're just doing like the dance moves. Bone hard. And then you just kick their ass because they're pussies. Yeah, no, yeah, <laughs> yeah, there's like you know how like in, in Ruby and Sapphire there's Team Aqua and Team Magma, mm -hmm. and then in and then in, uh, Team Rocket, Leaf, Leaf Green and Fire Red you have Team Rocket. Yeah. In Sun and Moon there is this there's um they're like gangsters like Team Skull so they're like they they have like bandanas and they wear like backwards like baseball caps <laughs> like, and they do like, like little gain signs the like, entire time because you know the Jesus. game's in 3D. It's not like a like and a two D game, repeat. like and I, I and they just sit I, there and do this. I'll be honest with you, that's like the one thing that makes me embarrassed to play that game. Really? Team Skull. Not that I'm a grown man playing Pokemon, nothing like that. Well, that's I love being a grown man playing Pokemon. I, it's it's just the movements where you see these people doing like this dance, and then like it's like someone that. like normal. Leans over your shoulder and sees this, and they're like, and they're like "What is this man child doing?" That's so what I did to you, guys. Yeah, I saw I saw him playing it. Just one <laughs> yeah, second, yeah. that's how I discovered that he had sun and moon. Because he's like, "Dude, I got sun and moon." I'm like, "Oh, sick!" And I come over, and that's the first <laughs> thing I see because he was getting in an altercation with Team Skull, and they're like, "You think you're hard, bro? <laughs> We're hard as bone." <laughs> and I'm just like. <laughs> So dumb. I'm like, this is the game you're playing. Like, I, 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 also, like, I also, yeah. I want to be truthful right now. I really think that this Pokemon, like the Pokemon Sun and Moon, is probably the most adult Pokemon game that they've made in a while. I dig it because they really bring in like a and, lot and, of. The, and yeah. I know that sounds stupid, but like, <laughs> if you watch the gameplay and you actually like watch through the story, I really think they tried hard to appeal to the more adult audience of Pokemon. <laughs> I, I dig it I agree. because um, <laughs> I, I agree with you. It's Hello, more adult. My old friend. Yep, yep. But it really. Uh, I've come to speak with you again. Matt, let my talk. I'm sorry. <laughs> it, it That's really, just rude. It really pulls in like a lot of different cultures that a lot of people might not know about. Like no one knows about Polynesian gods or yeah, isn't it in Hawaii like or something? It's in like it, it's based off of like Hawaii. Yeah. And like the Polynesian islands, and they bring in like a lot of these. Pokemon that are based off of uh, Hawaiian gods, like Polynesian deities. Mm -hmm. And if you're like into that type of stuff, it's really interesting how you like pick it apart. Yeah. <laughs> God damn it. God damn it. God damn it. Um, God damn it. So Yeah. There's no there's no such such cultural exposure in Leaf Green, Fire Red, and Ruby oh, and yeah, Sapphire. Because it. no. it's just 
what is the deal with Mario's hat in Odyssey, by the way? Why the fuck What's does it have head? eyes? I don't know. I think it's gonna Who knows? be. Maybe it's like the magic cap. In the why did they feel like they needed to put it in New York City? In the uh, trailer, they true. kept showing this like place, and it's called like Crazy Cap or yep. something. Yep, I saw and, like, Crazy you go, Cap. You can go into it like it's a building. I want that guy's hat. So my guess is it's gonna be like you can buy different hats. Yeah, and like, they, oh, have, like, they, like, they have they have special they have special. Yeah. That's gonna be and I, actually very interesting. I think they're gonna have special abilities. I think that's gonna be interesting. Like the regular one, like you saw him, he like throws it, and then like he's he jumps onto it, and he's able to like mask go over a gap yeah. between now, what, I was about to comment on that but I decided like, not to buy it and it was just when you it. said that I'm like wait a minute doesn't add up what if you're able to buy it and have it and then like be able to switch it in your inventory so you can just you know look down and just swipe over and just pick which one you want that would be nice that way it? you can have like your actual hat and then you could switch over oh, to like yeah. a cat hat which would make you climb right. up a wall or something hold on Mike 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 slammed the table and he's about to say something um, significant have you guys played or heard of the game super hot all right, oh now God. back to what? <laughs> no, 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 Like, this uh, game is so, super hot. so, so interesting. It is pretty cool. I know like, it is. So, you know yeah. the Vive, right? Like, the virtual reality thing. Oh, yeah. came yeah. out actually before the Vive. Yeah, it, it did. It came out, like, came for, out like for a year or four. A year or four. By the way, I still have Gears. a Samsung Gear VR unopened sitting in my room. Nice. Anyway, so... Good like use. It's, it's, it's really interesting it's because, coasting. like, <laughs> it was on the computer where you, like, do the thing. And it was pretty interesting because the concept is, like, time moves when you move. Mm -hmm. So if you stand perfectly still, time stops. So if someone's shooting at you, the bullet is, like, motionless if you don't move. And then you can just, and it goes right by you. Like, I really hope that your shirt isn't, like, causing, like, a problem with the green screen. Oh, you know, it probably is. It's gonna, you're gonna see like parts of Mike it's just missing. Missing. Cool. You don't think so? I'm thinking awesome. the reflection is gonna. Cut. I mean, I don't know. Maybe the reflection is causing a lot of. Ah, yeah, whatever. Da Dan's is definitely. Green shirt? Dan's <laughs> definitely missing a few pieces of his body. Yeah, like basically all the it's green cool lettering. Dark. Yeah, that's all right. But yeah, <laughs> so I've got like, holes in me already. <laughs> wow, <laughs> it's really interesting because like deep. <laughs> Sorry. But anyways, back to super hot. It's it's really cool because like Spears. now with like VR, weird you're like in the in the game, so you can like, like use this and like so, punch someone in the face, grab their gun, and just. Speaking of the Samsung gear and speaking of the VR with super hot, how long do you think it takes for them to to make a VR extension for the Switch? That would be interesting. The Switch is not powerful enough to handle VR. Really? But so even that, if it was like an external, like dude, something completely the, the external? the PS4 and the Xbox One has are barely it, powerful. can barely do it. If, if the Nintendo Isn't Switch the, ever tried you get a even... You're going to get a PS4 yeah. VR. Yeah. Dan, if the Nintendo Switch even tried conceiving the idea of being able to use it's VR, exploding. it would explode. Yeah. Okay, so, fair enough. I was just curious because, I mean, it would be really cool to be able to really on cool. the go. I don't think Nintendo knows what VR is. <laughs> yeah, they haven't been introduced to that. Oh, what is that? VR? They're still on motion control. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, your arms! Dude, we can make your arms connect? That was cool, huh? <laughs> dude, dude, look! It's got a, they actually have a sensor on the, the uh, controller for the, All right, but, the Switch. But seriously, well. we did it first and we did it best. Not like we, but like the we. We bowling! Like, we bowling, I used to destroy at oh, we dude, bowling. bowling. All of those games are great. They got really lucky Sorry. with Wii Sports because I, like, the, here's the thing. That, Wii Sports saved the Wii. Yeah, seriously. Yeah. It <laughs> yeah. really did. Like, it I think it, that... I think it sold, like, 80 million units, like, probably just, like, within the first couple of months. And that was probably, like, its entire life cycle. Not really, but it still sold greatly for what it's... Yeah, nobody, I nobody, nobody besides people who bought a Wii initially, I think what like, really... hey, did you get that Wii a couple months ago? Was that thing any fun? Yeah. Everybody, th nobody's... Sorry, Matt. Sorry. Second. Nobody's answer was... Yeah, man, that thing's awesome. Go get one. It was like, yeah, I mean, it's pretty fun. I pretty much only play Wii Sports, though. Yeah, there's really <laughs> nothing else out. There was really nothing else out. Actually, one game I had a lot of fun playing on the Wii with, mm. Force Unleashed. Yeah. That yeah. game was fun on the Wii. Because when you had the, the nunchucks, dude, and you just had the lightsabers, and you're just, like, going that. ham on people, and then, like, if you slam them down, you do, like, the force powers, it was, it was fun. You get the black <laughs> lightsaber, <laughs> dude. Yeah, that was pretty fun, too. I didn't play that one. I played one. Paper Mario. Nice. Paper Mario was fun. <laughs> No, but like at launch, I don't think it really had a lot of good games. Wii U didn't really have a lot of good games at launch. That seems to be Switch. Nintendo's kryptonite. I think yeah. the issue with Nintendo with um the Wii was 
it just it had too many games come out from really really new developers that were just not not good like Naked Brothers Band and uh, <laughs> must we keep going back like, onto that game? <laughs> Yes, it's I mean, you want to think about that. I, I mean, <laughs> somebody <laughs> proves me wrong that it's actually a fantastic game. I'm going to keep shitting on it. It's a wicked it. long comment. I don't know. Why don't you try it out? The other thing that really hurt the Wii and the Wii U is that there wasn't a lot of third party support. Oh, yeah. yeah. True. The Switch promises a lot more third party support. But, but it doesn't look like it. We so shall far. see. Yeah. We shall see. I doubt it. Well, Here's what I think is going to happen I doubt with the it. Switch. I think, I think it's a good console. I think it's a good idea, but I think they just kind of like, I don't know, like, I think they're just releasing it at a bad time. They need to have, like, a good launch lineup. They need to have the, like, Netflix and all that stuff at launch, because I don't really care about that. It's not going to happen. It's on so many other consoles, but that's a selling point for, like, a lot of adults and stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's not, that's, okay, so... Dude, Nintendo Switch porn? That's probably so easy to do. Oh, does it have an internet browser? Probably. Can you, can you clear your I don't 4G, think so. 4G, take porn with you on the go. Oh, man. You can get the Pornhub app. <laughs> well, it's, like, it's like an. It's, 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 it's <laughs> complete an 180, this podcast just. Once again, it has taken an interesting turn. Didn't we talk about porn earlier, too? No, we talked no. about the inauguration. <laughs> that was the inauguration. <laughs> it was Matt, the inauguration. I don't know Trump, what, Xbox 360, porn. indie game. Matt, porn no, Matt game. probably, Matt probably just subjects. thought we were Matt talking was about like, porn. Matt just thought about sure porn. We he was like, wow. I mean, I he brings about up, porn. He brings up Nintendo Switch porn. And then he's like, wait, weren't we talking about porn earlier? <laughs> that's all that's on Matt's mind right now. You're just thinking about it. Just like, like, wow. You want to take a bathroom break? I'm now? actually we'll like, wait. I'm like scrolling through Pornhub in my head. In your head, yeah. <laughs> no. No. Oh. Jesus Christ. On the Switch. <laughs> yeah, it's like, it's like a, like an article like, Pornhub coming in Nintendo Switch 2018. <laughs> Mixed feelings from fan base. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, as long as we get HD videos. Parents were. <laughs> HD videos. You can like put the huge clunky thing inside of a new VR that's just big as. Of fun. course, I knew I, I was waiting for that to happen for the, him to mention the VR. What? Because every time we've talked about the VR games that have come out, like VR porn. That's like that's I mean, really he, says it, he says it jokingly, but like every time we're talking about like, every time we're, <laughs> any, any time we're talking about games that could come to like virtual reality, he's like, dude, VR porn. <laughs> I'm like, oh my god, I'm done talking. Enough, it was massively advertised when. They announced like the Oculus Rift, especially in Japan. Dude, I mean, you gotta. Yeah, think. of course it was. Man, <laughs> it was you gotta think when VR was even announced. You it know was... the first fucking thing everybody thought was like, dude, imagine VR fucking porn. Okay. Oh Most. my god. Most Most people, go like <laughs> all the men, pretty much. <laughs> I can go to the horror house. This is great. I can just sit at my house and just look like I'm. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I don't man. think it'll look like anything except masturbating with a giant block on your face. Alright. Maybe we should give our verdict on the Nintendo Switch. Liam, <laughs> <laughs> right. we'll start with you. Alright. So, like I was saying, I think they should have had a better launch lineup, but there's really nothing they can do about it at this point. They have that 1-2 Switch game coming, and I've actually heard it's not that bad, mm -hmm. but that's not going with the console like Wii Sports was. Really? Yeah. No, there's no like game attached with the console, so Shit. you have to buy everything separately, and so not only do you not get a game with the console, but you have a selection of what was it five games, Dan? Yeah. One of much. them you can get on the Wii U. Another's Just Dance. Oh another, yay! Another, you know, I want to look like an game. asshole in my own home. <laughs> you already do that. I do that everywhere. Let's be pretty honest. So it seems like they kind of have a lack of like, it's and it sounds like it's supposed to be like kind of like. One of those family fun, like almost consoles, like yeah. fun for the whole family, yeah, yeah, yeah. like a video game. But there's like, doesn't sound like there's really any multiplayer games that are really out for it at launch. Splatoon is gonna come out eventually for it. I yeah, know that. but but I mean, eventually. Splatoon. <laughs> it's like all the games they announced at that thing. I was like, oh sweet, these are gonna be like launch games, and then like Mario's coming out like winter, like Mario Kart's coming out like two months later. You're like, oh, there's really so. no other point to get the Nintendo Switch other than. I'll probably just a get it for Christmas next year. I think that's when they could do really <coughs> good or like you know sell it like pretty well. Is that Christmas next year? Because they should have they should have pushed it games. back more. Honestly. Yeah. I mean, so your final thoughts? So I think it's going to be a good console, but uh, I think that they kind of just messed up with that. So timing. Yeah, timing. Yeah. Um, I think it's going to do incredibly well. I think it's going to if if. 
what we see right now is what they're actually promising, and it actually comes with the console, which is not Watch Dogs. It's gonna it's Watch gonna go dogs. very well, and I think the Nintendo Switch is gonna go very like it's gonna flourish, and we're gonna see flourish. a lot of awesome like a new flower. games. It's gonna, it's gonna uh, bloom and grow. Like a magnificent but I, th- flower. I think the one thing that's really gonna change um, the Switch's life is if it has VR porn. Of course. Mike? Mike? <laughs> no comment. No, no, no. <laughs> I, I abstain. <laughs> Mike, what's your, what's your um, idea on the VR porn well, for Switch? <laughs> um, well... I'm sorry, like, no, no, no. What you're forgetting is Chris said that it wouldn't even be able to... That was me. Think about that was VR. Me. Matt's no, a dreamer. Chris said that. Chris said it wouldn't even be able to I'm contemplate a lover. VR. Matt's still thinking about porn. Yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm sorry. Lost the track. I don't know yeah, what I was thinking yeah, yeah. about. <laughs> so. Let so, me do me away? What? Anyways. <laughs> um, no. Uh, I, I guess I think it's going to be pretty successful just because of the aesthetic that it holds. Like, aesthetic. everyone sees this commercial and it just looks totally fucking dope. So oh yeah, the I will give it to Nintendo. So they do know how to advertise. People like, yeah. people like yeah. us, we would like to play. People we like us are like looking into play. it, and we might buy it. We might not. Play I'm Mario personally Mario. not gonna buy it. Uh. I'm personally not gonna buy it just because I'm not. As well, way to commit, games. Mike. Uh, way to commit. You know, oh, yeah. I still don't even have yeah. an Xbox One or PS4. I'm still rocking the <laughs> Xbox 360. Really? Yeah, but um, Looking personally, I think that uh. A lot of it, just the mainstream audience is gonna Strong. be reeled in just by like how cool it looks and just by the general like because something different. Of it. It's not and something it is different. very different. And people really. And that was one of the main selling like, points of the Wii too. Is that it's different, yeah. But the Wii U wasn't really that different. It was just like a clunky, shitty tablet. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> So I, I don't even know where my Wii U tablet is right now, and I could kill that's, less. Yeah, that's pretty, pretty sure. As long as I can open up Super Smash Brothers for Wii U, that's all that matters. <laughs> JJ? Uh, I honestly don't really have that big of an opinion on it. I mean, I'm not going to buy one. I've never really been the biggest fan of uh, Nintendo consoles. <laughs> Chris does not. <laughs> but um, from what you guys have said, I think it's going to do pretty well in sales. Nintendo systems usually do. Yeah, besides you Wii know, U. <laughs> Besides Wii U, but uh, yeah, I well, think yeah, it's going to do pretty well overall. Yeah. Dan? <laughs> um, we're all waiting very well, patiently. We're, we're waiting. waiting. <laughs> I would also like to eat the chicken. I would also like to eat the chicken. No. Profound. No, no, um, no. I'm just here so I don't get fined. You know why I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> no, but... um. Honestly, I think yes. the biggest the biggest thing it needs to do <laughs> is live up to the hype, because um, it's very hyped. Obviously, yeah. it's one of the most talked about things in the video game industry right now. So uh, let's hope it gets us views. I mean, <laughs> sorry. Um, so yeah, uh, but I think it's gonna be a rocky start. I honestly do. I think it can end up being. That's why I'm not gonna buy one to begin with. I'm gonna wait. Because I think it could end up being one like a really really awesome thing to have and mm. a really really um, successful console in its own right. Yep. But I think it's gonna have uh, a gauntlet of sorts to run through at the beginning in order to get to that level because yeah. of just yeah. the limited number of things it's gonna come with to begin with and the limited uh, <clears throat> market it's appealing to. I mean, yeah. yeah. If you look back at every console ever, I mean, it's just it's always been a, like. Can you name a single console that's never had an issue? PlayStation from the start? Two. Okay, you know that what? PlayStation Two. Literally, dude. I can't even think of a single time in history where the PS Two had a big issue that people I've were gone like. I've through three PlayStation Threes, and I still have the same PS Two. Me too. I have, <laughs> my <laughs> PS Two is fine since I was a kid, dude. I've had that thing like I've longer had the than thing... my dog. <laughs> yeah. My dog for ten years. So like, you probably use that thing as a hammer to like put nails in. Yeah. Well, it could be. Yeah, the is so hard. I know. It's only the, as the ergonomics of a brick. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, and then there's the PS Slim. We don't talk about that. Yeah. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Game Enjoy Line later. Express podcast, and we'll see you guys in the next episode. Oh, oh an assassin! Oh. Who <laughs> shot the Whoa! 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 Bye.